we will do some more questions on titrations. So I am going to take a question and in which I will calculate the pH at various points. And before we start, let us just revise on some of the formula which you have already learned. You should know what is molarity that is equal to moles per liter and pH equals negative log concentration of hydrogen ions and uh, the ionization constant equation Ka and then the henderson hasselbalch equation pH equals pKa plus log uh, concentration of A minus divided by HA. So the question is 0 0.200 mol molar weak acid is titrated with 0 0.100 molar NaOH solution and the volume of the acid is 10 milliliter. So now the calculate the pH of the solution at four different points. A I have uh, 0 NaOH added then we have 10 ml NaOH added 20 ml and 30 ml NaOH added. The Ka of the acid is given and uh, to start with let us just write the neutralization equation. HA reacting with NaOH giving you NaA plus water. Now we will proceed further and see that how each one of these can be calculated. Let's do the first part of the question. For your reference, I have given the question again. So I am going to do when 0 ml of sodium hydroxide is added. So this is a point where I have only the weak acid and therefore the pH will depend on the ionization of the acid and write down the ionization of the acid then write down the ice table and then after the ice table is set up write down the acid ionization constant and substitute the values for hydrogen ions A- minus and HA and this is a small k approximation and uh, based on that I can calculate the value of X and X is the concentration of hydrogen ion and using the equation for pH, I can calculate the value of pH. Now let's do the next part of this question. When I add 10 milliliter of sodium hydroxide into it, the for your reference, the question is given again. So now we have added 10 milliliter of sodium hydroxide. So this is going to react with the weak acid. And uh, what we are going to do is we are going to calculate the moles instead of concentrations because in that way it's easy to um, calculate how much gets neutralized. So we will start by calculating the moles and the moles of HA and NaOH are calculated and the neutralization reaction is written. Set up the table. So from the ice table you can see that the amount of NaOH the SE is 0 0.001 gets neutralized by the acid and it becomes equal to 0. And now I am going to deal with the moles only. I have the moles of uh, NaA that is A minus. I have the moles of HA. So I can use the henderson hasselbalch equation. But in this case I am going to continue with moles only. Because even if I have to convert it into concentration by dividing by volume. Uh, that is going to get uh, cancelled in the ratio in the henderson hasselbalch equation. And uh, after substituting all the values, I get the pH. Let's do the C part of the question. In this case, I am adding 20 milliliter of sodium hydroxide. So this is the equivalence point and the acid will be completely neutralized. So the species that will present will be the salt NaA. So uh, as before, we will start by calculating the moles of HA and NaOH. And when we calculated the moles, set up the neutralization equation and the ice table. And you see that the, uh, the moles of HA and NaOH become 0. And I have only the salt NaA. Therefore, the pH of the solution will depend only on the ionization of NaA. So since I am not going to use henderson hasselbalch equation, I am going to con uh, convert the moles of sodium, uh, Na sodium salt into concentration by dividing it by the total volume. So the total volume is 30 ml, therefore the concentration of NaA comes as 0 0.067. So after I get the concentration, so write down the reaction of the salt with water. A minus with water gives me HA plus OH minus. So the pH of the solution is going to depend on this hydroxide ion concentration. So as usual, set up the ice table, get the value of X and uh, by putting it into the equation, I have used... Uh, I have converted the Ka given into Kb. That's why that 5.5 into the power of negative 10 is there. Because this is a Kb equation. How will I know something is a Kb equation or a Ka equation? If the equation has a OH minus in it, then use the value of Kb. 
if you have an equation which has the h positive in it, ka in it. This equation has OH minus, that is the reason I am using KB. Substitute for all the values, use the small uh, K approximation and get the value of hydroxide ion and get the cal uh, calculate the value of POH. From the value of POH, pH can be calculated. And uh, the pH 8.8 .8 is the appropriate value for a strong base weak acid titration. Let's do the last part of the question. When I add 30 milliliter of sodium hydroxide. This is a place where we have passed the equivalence point. Therefore, the excess NaOH uh, will determine the pH of the solution. So, let's start by as usual calculating the moles of sodium hydroxide. And this sodium hydroxide will react with the acid. And it will get completely, uh, it will completely neutralize the acid. That is the reason the acids uh, uh, moles becomes equal to 0 and uh, the moles of NaOH is equal to 0 0.001 and then uh, since I am not going to use the Henderson-Hasselbach equation I will take the volume of the solution and calculate the concentration of sodium hydroxide and NaOH is a strong base therefore concentration of uh, hydroxide is equal to the concentration of sodium hydroxide Based on this, calculate the POH and also calculate the pH of the solution. And this is uh, appropriate with what we expect from a strong base uh, weak acid titration. Uh, you can ask a question, why I did not uh, consider the reaction of the salt with water? Because that is going to give me some hydroxide ion and that will uh, add to the pH. But uh, NaOH being a strong base, that is the one which is going to dominate the uh, dominate the presence of hydroxide ion. The amount of hydroxide you are getting, going to get from the salt will be negligible as compared to the amount I get from sodium hydroxide. That's why that calculation is not done. If you want, you can do that. The calculation is similar to the one what we did in C part. The section C, that's what we did. You can try it out. You can see that it will be a small value. So, after, when you have a strong base, it's enough if you take up the contribution from the strong base to calculate the pH. Let us just sum up what we have learned so far. So in one page I will give you what are the equations to be used. So it is the same case I am going to consider a weak acid strong base titration and I keep adding the base little by little into the acids. So the first case is when I do not have any ba uh, base added you determine the pH from the acid, the ionization of the acid. So, we will use the concentration of the acid and uh, we will use the Ka equation. And uh, when you add some base into it, the second case, the, the base will react with the acid and therefore the pH is determined by the leftover acid after the neutralization by the base. So, in this case, I need to calculate the moles of the acid and the moles of the its conjugate uh, base and we use the Henderson-Hesselbach equation. And the third point is, when we are at the equivalence point, at the equivalence point, the acid uh, and base are completely neutralized and uh, hence the pH is determined by the hydrolysis of the salt. And therefore, I need the concentration of the salt and then I use the Kb value for this. And after the equivalence point, it is the excess base which determines the pH and therefore if it is a strong base directly take the concentration of the base as the concentration of the hydroxide ion and use the pH equation to calculate the pH.